हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट्यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट मी टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ट्रॅक्ट इन्फेक्शन्स अँड फर्टिलिटी नाव वेन एव्हर अ लेडी कॅन नॉट कन्सिव्ह द कपल विजिट्स अस अँड देन वी थरली इव्हॅल्युएट द कपल टेक द हिस्ट्री अँड क्लिनिकली एक्झामिन द मेल ॲज वेल ॲज द फिमेल पार्टनर फॉर प्रेझन्स ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ अ रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ट्रॅक्ट इन्फेक्शन These investigations majorly include sonographies, internal, per speculum and vaginal examination of the female partner, physical examination or clinical examination of the male partner and sonography and blood investigations of both partners. Now, an important investigation also is the histosalpingography or the sonosalpingography which helps us to analyze what is the status of the fallopian tubes. Now, roughly in 2 to 10% of the patients who are investigated in this manner, we find out that one or both the fallopian tubes are blocked and that gives us a high index of suspicion that the patient might have a reproductive tract infection. Commonest reproductive tract infection in India is tuberculosis which is responsible for blockage of both tubes in around 5% of the patients who are less than 35 years of age. These both tubes may be blocked because of an unknown tuberculosis infection. Most surprising factor in reproductive tract infections is that it does not give any signs or symptoms to the patient and these are mostly silent infections. Now, what are the causes of these infections? The most common causes of the infections are sexual intercourse and sometimes other than tuberculosis, certain infections like the trichomonas vaginalis, chlamydia or certain fungal infections like candida can also be present in the reproductive tract. Whenever we are suspecting a reproductive tract infection, we always send the histopathological examination or certain advanced tests like TB, PCR, mRNA or DNA testing and gene expert testing which helps us to analyze and investigate what is the exact nature of the reproductive tract infection. The reproductive tract infections which result in infertility can range from anything like salpingitis which is inflammation and infection of the fallopian tubes, endometritis which means the inner part of your uterus where your baby stays for 9 months is infected or vaginitis that is the mouth of your uterus that is the area of sexual intercourse might be infected. These kind of infections, though silent, are detrimental for the growth of the child as well as the implantation, which means that in a patient of reproductive tract infection, she may not get pregnant for a longer time, she may face miscarriages or may face preterm deliveries, which means delivery much before date. So, all in all, whenever we are progressing for any kind of an assisted reproduction technology like an IUI or IVF, it is extremely important to rule out any kind of an infection before going ahead to ensure absolute safety and efficiency of the IVF procedures. Thank you.